What if the most powerful telescope in history has just revealed something we were never meant to see? What if everything we've believed about the origin of our universe, about time, space, and reality itself, is now collapsing under the weight of new evidence? Well, it might sound like an exaggeration, but trust me what the Webb telescope has just revealed is serious. After the unexpected discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists are now starting to consider major changes to our current understanding of the universe. Some of the world's leading cosmologists recently met to seriously ask the question, what if we are completely wrong about the universe? One of the things that's been the most exciting so far has been the discovery of a lot of massive black holes and galaxies in the early universe. And it's exciting because we weren't quite expecting that. You go look for baby pictures of your kids, and you find that they're like eight feet tall. It's like, what the heck? What's going on here? We found a bunch of objects that are incredibly difficult to explain, that there's a lot of controversy over. One of them, a cosmologist at the University of Oxford said, in cosmology, we're still using a model that was first put together way back in 1922. Sure, we have amazing new data now, but the theory we're using is past its expiry date. And I'm not the only one saying this. More and more respected astronomers are starting to agree. So what did Webb just find? And why are scientists so serious about this new finding? Recently, the Webb telescope pushed far beyond its expected limits, gazing into the most distant reaches of the early universe. But what it revealed was nothing like what scientists had imagined. The images were so unexpected that some researchers are now saying, this doesn't look like the universe we thought we knew. A team of astronomers led by Pablo Gui, Perez Gonzalez, an astrophysicist at the Center for Astrobiology in Madrid, has found nine mysterious light sources at the farthest edges of the observable universe. Six of them are at a redshift of 17, and three are at a redshift of 25. For those unfamiliar about redshift, let them know that this is how astronomers measure distances in the universe. The higher the number, the further away something is, and the further back in time we are looking. Redshift 17 means we're seeing the universe when it was only about 200 million years old. Redshift 25 means just 100 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomer Perez Gonzalez says, these are the deepest observations Webb has ever made, the deepest by a factor of a few. If these light sources really are at those distances, it means the early universe was far more active in its first 200 million years than anyone had imagined. However, according to our standard cosmological models, in the first 100 million years after the Big Bang, the universe was a very quiet place. There were no stars, no galaxies, and no light, just a vast, dark, and almost empty space. Astronomers call this era the Cosmic Dark Age. During this time, the universe was still cooling down from the incredible heat of the Big Bang and was steadily expanding. Invisible dark matter, which makes up most of the universe's mass, began to gather into large clumps due to gravity. At this point, the universe was still starless and galaxy-free. Nothing was shining yet. It was simply the stage being set for the first cosmic structures to be born. This was the time when the building blocks of the first stars and galaxies were quietly coming together in the darkness. But what Webb just saw is a huge problem. Look at this graph. On the left, around redshift 10 to 12, we see some of the earliest galaxies spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope, confirmed through detailed spectroscopy. At this distance, finding galaxies isn't surprising, but some of them are so massive and bright, even resembling our own Milky Way, that it poses a serious challenge to current theories of how the early universe evolved. Pushing further to redshift 14.3, we meet JD's GSC 14-0, the most distant confirmed galaxy ever observed, captured as it appeared just 290 million years after the Big Bang. Close behind are two other record holders, JD's GSC 12 Finders 0 and JD's GSC 13-0, sitting only slightly nearer in time. The very existence of these galaxies at such extreme redshifts is already making cosmologists rethink their models. 
And yet Webb wasn't done surprising us. It has now spotted something even stranger. Light sources at the farthest reaches of the observable universe that don't look like galaxies at all. Objects so unexpected that no one even imagined their existence. Six of these newly discovered mysterious objects have a redshift of 17, while three others have a redshift of an almost unimaginable 25. If these measurements hold true, they are not just extending the edge of our map of the cosmos. Even more puzzling, we have no idea what these objects actually are. Researchers have confirmed they are neither galaxies nor stars. They said our best cosmological models say stars couldn't have formed that quickly, not in those numbers and certainly not with enough brightness to be seen from so far away. So, what are we looking at? Some scientists are starting to whisper a new possibility. A group of astronomers have put forward a hypothesis to make sense of these puzzling findings. They have proposed that primordial black holes created right after the Big Bang may have lit up the universe before the first stars. Andrea Ferrara, an astrophysicist at the Scuola Normale Superior in Pisa, Italy, explains, if stars cannot explain the source of the luminosity and the numbers that we see, something else must be producing the light. This can only be a primordial black hole. On the other hand, some scientists believe that if they really are primordial black holes, the implications could be staggering. Stephen Hawking once proposed that such black holes might not only hold clues to the earliest moments of our cosmos, but could also serve as gateways to other universes, portals through which information swallowed by black holes isn't destroyed, but instead carried into alternate realities. In other words, these strange points of light from the dawn of time might not just be telling us about our universe's past. They could be the first hard evidence that other universes exist. Well, amid the discovery of ancient galaxies and massive black holes, astronomers have stumbled upon something even stranger, a mysterious type of bright object from the early universe. You are already familiar with these. They are nicknamed Little Red Dots. At first, scientists assumed they were simply small, compact galaxies, but follow-up observations shattered that idea. These are not galaxies at all. They're something entirely different, something we've never seen before. A bold new theory suggests these enigmatic objects could be black hole stars. And no, they're not ordinary stars, nor are they black holes. Instead, they are a bizarre hybrid, a short-lived cosmic phenomenon theorized to exist only in the earliest ages of the universe. A black hole star forms when an enormous star collapses under its own gravity. But instead of immediately becoming a black hole, the black hole forms at its core, while the rest of the star remains intact around it. If these little red dots are truly black hole stars, it would mean we are looking at an incredibly rare stage of cosmic evolution. In addition to this, recently scientists also found that the expansion of our universe appears to be slowing down. If this trend continues, it could one day reverse, leading to a catastrophic collapse, what some call the Big Crunch. Even before this finding, other observations had already raised eyebrows. Measurements suggested that the universe's expansion rate might not be uniform, it could be different in different regions. And even stranger, Evidence hints that the universe might have had a spin in its earliest moments. If true, this could mean something truly mind-bending. Our universe might actually be the inside of a gigantic black hole. For scientists, these discoveries are both fascinating and unsettling. They highlight how much we still don't understand about the cosmos. One possibility is that the universe had a definite beginning, like the Big Bang. Another is that it has always existed what some call an eternal universe. In this view, the cosmos has no true start or end, but instead passes through endless cycles of expansion and contraction, or exists in an unchanging steady state on the grandest scales. There's also the tantalizing possibility that our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic ocean, a multiverse made of countless universes, each with its own laws of physics, if we really are living inside a spinning black hole, 
then the outside of our universe might be just as real as our own. The James Webb Space Telescope has pushed our vision deeper into the cosmos than ever before. But with every answer it provides, it seems to uncover two new questions. Can we ever truly grasp the nature of reality? Or is the universe in all its vastness ultimately beyond the reach of human science? If you enjoyed the video and want to support our work, you can do so by clicking Super Thanks or by grabbing one of our awesome t-shirts from our merch store.